Welcome back to Sister Tea Time on Plus okay. TV Africa. I did mention that we have a lovely guest, and that person is Tony Ame. He is a creative and lifestyle entrepreneur, a partner at Abuja's The Capital Movement TCM. Tony is also a former member of the Wingus Network. Sounds like one like undercover. <laughs> Uh, FBI something, mm. a social committee, you don't understand, <laughs> that runs a I'm franchise of, <laughs> of restaurants. Tony serves as the managing director of Hive by Wingus. Tony Ame ha has created a lot of business solutions like a ticketing site for events, a distribution channel for tickets in Abuja, music promo strategies, man talent management, the list goes on to be honest. Tony also provides solutions for marketing, strategy and lifestyle problems. So in case your lifestyle isn't packaged well enough, <laughs> He's your guy. And he also has provided um, the solutions to top events in Abuja for artists and all the type of people. A natural fun lover, a thrill seeker, Tony never backs down from climbing new mountains and facing different obstacles in his business and in life. He also knows how to shoot shots as well. Please welcome with me, Tony Ame. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? It's good, man. It's good, it's good. Uh, good to have you on the... On the show. Yeah, we've had you before. Behind yes, the scenes. behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, sometimes you have to be behind the scenes sometimes to see you before you come to the Well, um, you caught my attention with the W on yeah. your chest mm. now. Okay, so this W, w <laughs> <laughs> um, it's for the Wingus Network. Um, okay. The Wingus Network is a premium hospitality and lifestyle brand um, currently located in Abuja, but don't very soon would expand. But we own. Um, three restaurants and lounges as the Wingus Sports Bar Restaurant, the Hive by Wingus, and the Eden by Wingus. Um, so we are basically a couple of young guys. Nobody is above 27. Wow. Um, that What's the youngest? The youngest, funny enough, is me. I'm the youngest. Okay, tell and us your age you? now. Tell us your age. <laughs> <laughs> tell us your age now. Not on live TV. 21. I used we can to find 23. out. You can, we can always find out. My money's on like 26, 25. My money's on like 25. Yeah, 20, or 24. Hmm. 25. Could be 24. 20. Well, 25. you guys are dabbing around. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm telling you you're 25. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, so it's just a couple of young guys that are just trying to show people that young people are just more than what you see mm. in front. You can really put in that work and mm. command authority and give results. Now, I want to know, what, what, what is the criteria for getting these young guys? Because um, do you have to be a rich kid? Do you guys have your parents supporting the business? Or you just... Uh, because for young guys, it's hard to come with what you have three restaurants mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah, so where do you guys source your capital? How did you come about? What's the criteria to be part of your team? Mm. Okay, so... Um, so the Wiggins Network is in two, is in two parts. So there's the Kaltachi part, uh, which is what owns the three restaurants. Um, it's been funded by my MD, um, Amam Chirochas. Um, so with that, we have investors and mm. um, external partners, but we fully run it. Mm. Um, I'm the um, MD for Hive under the Wingus Network yeah, Hospitality. But now under the Wingus Network itself, I'm the general manager. Right. That's where it's a group of people that have influence in different works of life, um, be it you got there through young qualifications or your mm. parents, but at least we do background checks to make sure at least you being there means you can't do what you're there so you don't, for. And being rich is not a criteria? No, being rich is not a criteria. Just now, of course, you said, do you know who's funding? <laughs> you don't need no money, you don't need no brains. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's a thing where it's just a group of people that really know what they're doing in mm. their fields and we create a network of people mm. that help mm. each other. So I walk, I walk into an office now and you see the W here and you're like, okay, I remember you. Um, mm. you are with Tony's people, mm. do you get, yeah. or I walk into um, an airport and I have a member of the network that works for the presidential fleet and mm. I get like the craziest treatment, treatment mm. in the airport. They're like, oh yeah, this is no so this guy, okay. So that kind of thing, and there are people in government, there are people in entertainment. So it's a there are people huge in, network. It's a, it's a huge network of funny enough, just 17 people for mm. now. So we are really strict about recruitment because we, you know, right now, background checks and mm. all that. If the person really is clean. My full name is Aifel Lua Oshunkeye. So my, my police record so they, is up to date. Up to date. <laughs> my blood type. I have no criminal <laughs> record. Just I mean, uh, I haven't done anything. My, this is my CV. 
I've never been married. I've never entered prison. <laughs> Why did you have never been... that? Why? Why did you? But you have dated before. Uh, no, I, I, um, I don't know what that is. Sir. Is that a anyway, noun? So, uh, <laughs> lifestyle entrepreneur. That's a different mm. angle entirely because I haven't really heard a lot of people call themselves mm -hmm. lifestyle entrepreneur. Mm. So, what does it entail? What What, what exactly what is, about? is your job to mm. be a lifestyle entrepreneur? Um. Okay. So people misinterpret the word lifestyle entrepreneur. So. If you Google what a lifestyle interviewer is, it says um, someone that does business for passion and to change their lifestyle. Mm. But I see myself in that life, but not really in that life. I see myself as lifestyle in itself is the way someone lives. And then the entrepreneur is, I make money from how you want to live. Mm. So if I want to leave, okay, Lunch. let's say I, I, I just got, uh, uh, I, I just want a lottery of um, $300 million, mm -hmm. right? And I tell you that, look, I can't keep living like the old affair. My guy, your life's an entrepreneur. What are some of those things that you would first upgrade? The first three things you will change about me as a lifestyle? I would say, okay, yeah. So if I... Um, first, you take my job away from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. So now, that's the trick now. I'll be like, okay, so what do you really want to do? Because in the end, it's really what you want to do. Mm. Then no, I'll, I have no idea. Okay, you I'm have no paying idea. you now I'll to say, make okay, my okay, life so better. What are the first three things you will I will do? always advise people to network, go out mm. of their comfort zones, and be like, okay, so you have this much money. You need to exact people that have like, three of your money. That way, you know what people that had your type of money did to get higher mm. money. But then, just to cut aside, lifestyle entrepreneur really isn't mainly about that. But it's also that changing lifestyles and knowing how people work. But how I make money from people is events, entertainment, creating, creating spaces where people mm. are comfortable to spend mm. Premium money. spaces. Premium spaces. Premium spaces. So if you come to me, I'll probably, if you're not my guy, I'll probably say, ah, let's go, let's, let's, let's go to higher so you can spend like five million first. Mm. So, <laughs> so my target. <laughs> no, let's go talk yeah. over a meal. Yeah. And you make sure yeah. we're buying the expensive Yeah, like, okay, no, why are we drinking this? Let's drink a, a bottle yeah. of. So you're making your money of already. Crazy well, or Mattel XX or something. They're calling brands. They've, they've given you money. They've not given us. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying as premium as it gets. Yeah. You get. But that lifestyle is is something where we create an event. I create an experience for people. Mm. Um, the way you want to live. Okay, I want to come out and hang out with this person or that person, mm. or I want to be here because Abuja is here or Lagos is here or. Wherever this guy is, that's where people want to but go. But surely that would just be attracting cloud chasers. Because, I mean, if I'm looking for cloud, I'm looking for being associated to the biggest mm -hmm. people and the nice, where the cool kids hang out, whatever mm -hmm. that is for you. Because school kids is subjective, right? Mm -hmm. So you're the plug for that, basically. Yes. Okay. Now, I want to ask you, though, like, when I think about you, Tony, I think about Abuja a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you're like the plug there. But I know you have your ground still planted in mm -hmm. because you like money. But what, <laughs> what is the massive difference in terms of you know um, business functionality between Abuja and Lagos. Okay, so I was currently doing a survey. First off, as a business person that runs a business, is bats. You guys, bats is insane. Like, mm. bro, that's one. Two, um, I think they they pay Lagos staff more because mm -hmm. I think okay. that they pay for the stress too. Mm -hmm. mm. They, they have to pay for the they extra pay stress. For your stress. Hmm. <laughs> so they pay Lagos. I feel like we're underpaid. So they now get in Abuja. Stress. Mm, so not in all places. Allowed. Okay. Don't in get some, me wrong. In some in spaces. Some, in right. some spaces, like if I'm being honest, I don't think. Let him not see it. <laughs> but like, but like, shake the table, it. It's break it. it. We, we insult we us. We know your heart. No, no. I don't even have to insult you. No. So like, I don't know. I don't know MDs that end what I end. Wow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't know mm. MDs that in Lagos. Are in, in Lagos. I'm just saying. I'm just wow. saying. But like I said, it depends on the in, in the area you're operating in. But businesses in Abuja. But you pay yourself, don't you? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> what happened no, but the son that pays me, I have an MD mm. that mm. pays me. So if the MDs pay you what some MDs are not getting paid in Lagos, how much is the MD the getting? Now, just, hey, Lord, Abuja. But like, but like the the business is different because I believe Lagos really keys in. So let me focus on my space now, mm. the restaurant and lounge space. Keys in more on 
overpriced. No offense to anywhere I go to in Lagos. Like, your prices are outrageous. I went somewhere yesterday and I looked at the prices of drinks. And it's painful to me because I know the cost price. Mm. Not the shop price price. I know no the cost price. cost price. And I'm like, mm. okay. That's very painful. Mm. Trust me. It is. Okay. Mm. So, <laughs> I'm not like, okay, that's fine. But I think they're doing it because of the uh, it's island and like there's that okay you're paying for serenity as well you know mm. Mm. yeah so also Lagos spaces go that extreme to look extra nice mm. and all that for abuja we really focus more on quality although what we did was there was a paradigm shift with our out, with our outlets where we really go that extra mile of making it extra nice yeah. giving you extra food and not overpricing you for drinks and what do you, you do you really get as nice as Lagos? Okay, I'll give you a real life experience. On the 24th, I went somewhere, right, with a few friends. And just the day before, I got the same brand of drink for about 6,900, right? And then when I got to that venue, I wanted that same drink, right? And it was 40,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Would I say I'm not drinking because it is 40,000 naira? So we tried. It was somewhere around that had other places, other places you mm -hmm. can go and check out that you probably buy that drink for lesser, maybe 25, mm -hmm. you get. Mm -hmm. And then we checked, very noisy, very crowded. Like I said, it was the 24th, people were there. Then we went back to that same spot that they called for it. Um, no, a lot of people were not there. So I realized that I was paying for serenity. Mm. I was paying for privacy. Mm -hmm. I was paying for a whole lot of things that I couldn't yeah. get in I those other places. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's allowed. Don't you think? No. So that's where the lifestyle comes in now. Mm. So for me, as a person, I, I can do all those things. But now you have to look at your normal customers. Do you have enough? customers mm. to sustain you. Mm. But just not as populated, is it? No, but they spend money there a lot. Mm. But Yes, they do. The thing is, a typical Lagos person probably spends more money than a, than an Abuja person going out. Abuja people really like their houses and everywhere is closed, there's no traffic. Mm. So I can literally just open one like, let me go here. If it's too stressful or if there's too much crowd, I'll go home. Mm. But like, imagine someone that lives in the mainland now. Come came to, to, to yeah. <laughs> we go enter the cloud. We go, we go push people. <laughs> so, so I was with my friend yesterday, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, I want to go back to the town. He's like, ah, bro, I came from the island, though. You see this place where I eat? Yeah, yeah. To the Jesus house. Okay, okay, okay. okay, let's move the conversation a little bit to entertainment. So mm -hmm. the first time we met you, and especially as, as a house, mm -hmm. we met you because you brought your artist here, mm -hmm. Dinner Ranking, and he's like a ball of fire. I mean, he's the biggest fan. I want to know how you dived into that, because that has nothing to do with your... Okay. The lifestyle now. Mm. So, <laughs> funny enough, like you said, I'm a lot of things, but like, I used to be an event promoter mm. in Abuja. So, the Capital Movement is a youth culture brand in Abuja that was faced to move the Abuja entertainment industry to a place where young artists were appreciated. Up until 2016, that we did our first festival, Abuja show promoters didn't put Abuja artists on any show. Mm. Fly everyone from Lagos, mm. probably use some club DJs and all that because they believe they're not commercially viable. So we did some, we do something annually called the TCM Festival where we do all, just Abuja artists and DJs, young people, amazing talent. But you know, Abuja sort of is like, it's like very diverse. So you hardly see Afrobeat artists. I think mm. in Abuja, there are only like three Afrobeat artists. The many are probably trap rap, that's like YP, okay. Zilla Oaks, mm. um, Odumodu Black. And they rap like people with don't chop belly. They don't sing hungry. They don't sing hungry. They don't have two legs. They don't hunger. They don't have none of that. And they rap. I'm eating every day, making and my money. So that's rowdy. I'm eating every but day, making my want, money. But if you want, like, proper <laughs> grime, I think you should listen to Odumodu Black. He's, now, him, he raps like he's, he's ready to fight. Like, he <laughs> raps like, ah. <laughs> so what we did was, after that event, we did, like, 2,500 people. Like, all the event promoters were shocked. Like, oh, so people come up with these young artists. Then they started putting, putting them on stages. Yeah. But now, the problem with... Being an upcoming artist, when you're focusing on your music, is there was really no connect to how the show promoter would mm. find you. Mm. So there were now the, pro, the junior promoters, like I, I was then, that when they're doing a show, be it the video live or whiskey live or something, they'll be like, okay, 
um, Tony, I need three Abuja artists that will mm. put on three. I need four. So I was that guy in between. That will find them. Okay. Yeah, so along that way, I started discovering talent. Like, there are a lot of talented people. Like, the talent, Brume, um, Zeno. Pire, Zeno. So the funny thing was, I did mm. not like Zeno before because of his previous management. Mm. So they were making him do stuff he was not meant to do. Mm. Like yeah. the type of music, structure, and mm. he would give a song to the other guy because the other guy's dad owned the label and stuff. So, oh, wow. Well, I'll shake this table well. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, the thing where the first time we met was at a concert I was doing stage management for, which was um, Caribbean concert, which ha had Bonner Boy, Tenya, and Zlatan headlining. And he literally comes with the guy and they're like, they're here for soundtrack. I'm like, oh. Yeah, past sound check, oh, sorry, you be teens. And they're like, oh no, now that. So they're like, so Zeno was actually trying to like talk to him and be like, oh, that, I, I, we know we are late. But the other guy was like, what do you mean? Mm. This, 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 this. Typical Abuja behavior. No, that's typical. That's typical Lagos behavior. Actually, actually. actually. <laughs> so, and the guy is trying to do all oh, that. Ah. My uncle is one of the sponsors. I said, bro, if you like, let your uncle be the owner of this event. <laughs> In the end, he now went back, brought his uncle to give the DJ the mm. I said, ah, after the one on stage. When he performed like the first song, I said, I don't need the DJ. I'm like, <laughs> Cause, so the thing is, there's also that culture that we now created for Abuja artists to be professional. Come for sound check. Mm. Actually, do your sound check. Hear what your music will listen. Will hear. Will it, would like sound like. like right. Because um, that really helps your mix and master okay. and all that. All right. So just fun, okay. I've like, yeah. run, oh, run out of time, okay. but obviously you're a plug for many things. And mm -hmm. uh, if anyone's listening to the interview, they've gotten the idea of it with lifestyle, even with art and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's our, our, our audience as well. So mm -hmm. if they want to come find you, bombard you. Oh, so I can ask a question before he tells us that. Uh, Can no. we just quickly touch on it? No, there's actually okay. no time. Right. Just to tell just, us. Okay. Let me just okay. say this question. All right, so being a talent manager, there, there's something I've, I've always wanted to ask. Whose responsibility is it when artists are late, like the scenario you just mm. painted? Who's Short answer. Is it you or the artist? Break. It's the manager. Because mm. you have to not control your, your artist. If your artist is a sluggish guy, you have to light him about the time he needs to be there. Mm. Okay. So you just have to not manage that. So it's the manager's so fault. Hard on the artist, it is always the manager's fault. Yes. Right. So the manager. Now I know what to face. Exactly. But sometimes the manager can also be a slow guy. Which means you're a bad manager. Mm. Which means it's it's not mean you're a bad manager. It just means you're a slow guy. Yeah, you might be getting results <laughs> in other things, just not getting your artist somewhere early. Right. Okay. Time. So where can we find you? How can we, um, you know, be plugged to you? All of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tony underscore me on all social media platforms. Right. Um, okay. And they can shoot their shots in your DMs. See, my girlfriend can fight. Like, <laughs> sure, you, you can try. But if, if if you're a talent or you're you're trying to come to Abuja to do something, sure, mm. you could hit me up to the underscore Ame mm. on all social media platforms. Alrighty. Yeah. Wait, well, we are going to Abuja to eat chat. Yes, I'm exactly. Coming, That's coming. our own free, free Yeah, but we will soon open in Lagos. So just... No, we want to. Ah, is it your goal? Uh, it's, ah, it's Abuja sorry. we want. It's Abuja. We want yeah, to be in Lagos. Ah, it's Abuja we want. No problem. Rice is different when it enters. In fact, we are shifting the flight back. Backwards, but I'm coming earlier than you expected. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I uh, will leave you guys with this quick music break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.